Hey guys, Doug here from Bugs and Brews. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to be tying up a rainbow warrior and enjoying a nugget nectar from Trogues. This is one of my favorite wintertime beers. We're in mid-January right now. Seems very fitting to be tying up these rainbow warriors, which is one of my favorite wintertime patterns. Let's get the tying. To start things off, I'm gonna put a size 16 Lively Legs 320J in the vise. Uh, I got a 2.4 millimeter tungsten slotted bead on there. And I'm gonna be using a red UTC Ultra Thread. You can also tie this in purple. I think purple and black as well. Uh, Lance Egan has, has both variations there. And I'm gonna start my thread. And then first things first, let's get that bead in place and we'll build a little bit of a thread dam in front of the bead there, just to make sure that that's not gonna move on us a little bit more. And that should do it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give a counterclockwise spin to my bulb and just to unravel and uncord some of that thread because I wanna keep this fly pretty slim. And by uncording that, it's, that thread's gonna lay flat and really just help, help me make that body that much slimmer. So for the tail, I'm gonna be using Coke de Leon, medium pardo. Grab a couple of fibers off of there. And we'll give about a hook strength shank in length give a couple of fairly loose wraps and from here I can actually adjust the tail but I kind of like the length on that so we have one more harder wrap and then I'll lift up that tail bring my thread underneath and it kind of splays that tail out a little bit gives it kind of a, a natural buggy look bring my thread back up to behind the bead, cut off my excess, and then from here we're going to tie in our body material. And for our body material, I'm using pearl tinsel. And for this, this is actually a size medium. I, I know the, the bobbin there said large, but I'm using a medium for the body. The large will come in later. We're going to use that for the wing case, but I'll tie in my body and bring that back to the tail and back to the front here. Trying to have as minimal thread wraps as possible. Now we're gonna grab our tinsel and I'm gonna use my rotary vise to make touching, slightly overlapping wraps back up to the front of the hook. There we go. Give it a good wrap, pull a little tight, and two more. There we go. Cut that off. And then this is where the large comes in. I'm gonna tie that wing case in just behind the bead here. Give a couple good wraps. Make sure that's in there tight. And for the dubbing, the collar here, I'm gonna be using a rainbow scud dub. I'm gonna take just a pinch of stuff here. You can kind of see I don't have much at all, but that'll go a long way. All right, you can kind of see how much I have on there. I'll give a good couple wraps. I'm trying to keep this as sparse as possible. Pull our wing case over. Capture that with a, a good thread wrap. Pull that tight. Now, a couple in front. Use my whip finish tool. Put on a whip finish. Cut my thread and let's
let's cut that wing case out of there. I'm gonna do a little bit of scissor work here now too. So because I'm using this as like a contact nymphing fly, I'm gonna try and cut some of that excess dubbing away. Now typically I like that bugginess where that dubbing is sticking out a little bit. But uh, for contact nymphing, we're looking for that fast sink rate. This is on a lighter bead, you know, as well. So anything that I can do to help this cut through the water quicker will help out. Think of it kind of in terms of swimming, where a lot of swimmers, you know, they're, they're shaving their legs, at, you know, those hair appendages uh, to help them cut through the water better. Same concept applies here. And I just put on a little bit of UV resin just to... Make sure nothing comes unraveled on us while we're fishing this. And that's all there is to it. Pretty simple fly, easy one to tie, uh, fun one. I just, I love tying nymphs. That's kind of my favorite thing. Uh, and this is, a, this is a good one. So give her a try.